Many years ago, after winning some uh, sales awards, a young lady came up to me and said, man, what is the key to your success? If you could narrow it down just to one thing, you've broken all the sales records, you're making more money than anyone else at the company. What in the world do you do that, so, uh, that, that really allows you to accomplish everything that you've accomplished? And I said, it's easy. The one thing is a morning routine. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna create a morning routine that's simple, easy, fast, quick, yet powerful and impactful that will forever change your life, I guarantee it. So my name is Steve and I help people live their best life. And so we're gonna jump into this creating a morning routine that's gonna be quick. It's something you can do anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes is what I would recommend that I guarantee you will have tremendous impact in your life. Now, how did I come on doing morning routines and why do I believe it's so very important? So many, many years ago, I did a study on uh, the most important people that I knew. People like Bill Gates, people like Steve Jobs, people like you know great athletes like Michael Jordan. What was the consistent thing that across different fields, across different industries, the people that were at the top of their game, what is something that they were all doing? And the one common thread I could find was they all had some type of morning routine. So if all of the top performers, and regardless of the industry, were had morning routines, and if I wanna be a top performer, I thought, you know what? I better figure me out a morning routine. Well, here's the deal. I left for work at 6 a.m. every day. I didn't wanna you know, get up two hours early to spend you know, hours doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I needed something quick, something uh, concise, yet very impactful and powerful that would really create transformation and results in my own life. And so I came up with something called Savers. Now, when I say I came up with it, I really kind of stole it, to be honest. There's a gentleman by the name of Hal Elrod, and he wrote a book called The Morning Miracle. And he kind of has this structure in that book. And so I started applying it. And so SAVERS is just an acronym. And if you did each one of these letters for, let's say, three minutes, you're talking about 18 minutes is all. If you could invest 18 minutes in yourself each and every morning for 30 days, I'll tell you what, watch what will actually happen. So let's jump into this. Okay, so you might actually wanna write savers down on a piece of paper, maybe in a journal, something like that, because the first few times you do it, you might need kind of you know, a reference. You might forget some of these things that I share with you here today, and so you might wanna actually write these down. But the S, the S stands for silence, for silence. So the first thing you're gonna do, again, two, three, four, five minutes, you're just gonna sit in silence. You wanna get your mind you know, restful. Maybe, I like to use the term empty, emptiness. Right? You're not thinking about the emails you have to send. You're not thinking about how your boss is going to yell at you when you get to work. You're not thinking about, uh, oh man, I got to deal with uh, Sally over in accounting or crud, I got this horrible customer that I got to call back. Nah, let that all go. It's just not important right now. So first of all, two, three, four, five minutes and just sit in silence. Get your mind quiet. Now at first, this is hard to do. Thoughts are going to come up. They're going to be racing through, right? It's hard to turn your brain off. But listen, the goal here is not to turn off your brain and stop thinking. The goal is not to let those thoughts take you away. In other words, be an observer, be a witness. Let the thoughts come in and let them go. Silence, okay? Okay, so on to the A. So we've sat in silence for a few moments and now we're gonna do our A, affirmations. Now, here's how I like to kind of do some affirmations and this is kind of, you know, the quick example, the quick explanation. So. On your affirmations, you're going to think of, you know, three to five. Do not go over five. Think of three to five things that you'd really like to accomplish. Maybe, again, let's just use the example that you're in sales. You want to win salesman of the year, as an example. You also, in your health area, you want to, you know, lose 10 pounds, and that would put you at your ideal weight. And then you want to be earning, you know, $10,000 a month. Let's say those are your three main goals. Again, three to five is all good for this. Now you wanna take those goals and put them into the present tense. What do I mean by that? You're gonna create I am statements. So again, the first one was we wanna win salesman of the year. So I am the salesman of the year. I am at my ideal weight or you know, I'm so grateful that I've lost 10 pounds, right? Uh, I'm happy that I earned $10,000 a month or something greater still. Always in money, you always wanna leave it open-ended. So you wanna put these in present tense statements like they're already accomplished, like you're living it, okay? So you wanna get silent, then you're gonna do your affirmations, right? I am successful, I am uh, 
uh, happy that I met the love of my life. Money flows to me easily. Whatever those affirmations are for you. You want to put things in your own words because that way it's really going to resonate with you. So silence, then affirmations, and then you're going to get into the V, which is visualization. Now, take it, you know, three to five minutes in the morning, and you're gonna visualize that each one of these things. So, in other words, you're visualizing yourself 10 pounds thinner, how you look in your, you know, with your shirt off, or how, ladies, how you look in that dress as you're going to work, whatever that, whatever that is for you, okay? You're visualizing, how does it feel to win Salesman of the Year? Maybe you, uh, you know, you have a um, uh, big celebration at the end of the year, you go up on stage and you win an award, you're giving a speech, right? People are clapping for you. You know, what are you gonna do with the $10,000 a month that you're earning? What do you do with the extra money? Maybe you're gonna use that to go on a, a, an awesome vacation. Where are you gonna go? Visualize what that looks like. You wanna get into an emotional state. So you're gonna get silent. Then we're gonna do our affirmations. Then we're gonna turn those statements to where they make an emotional impact through visualization. And then E is exercise. Now, I'm not talking about getting up and going to the gym in the morning. You sure can if you want to, but that's not what this is about in the morning routines. So when I talk about exercise here, I'm talking again about three to five minutes. So when I started doing it, um, you know, I would do maybe 20 jumping jacks, maybe 10 push-ups, and, uh, you know, maybe a plank for a few moments or some sit-ups, something to that effect. Just enough to kind of get your heart rate up to get your blood pumping. Science shows that as you get your blood pumping, you get more oxygen to your brain, and now you're much more alert, you're much more bam, bam, bam on things, okay? So you wanna make sure you do a little bit of exercise. Again, not much, we're talking three to five minutes. This isn't you know, your exercise for the day or for the week, we're just talking about getting your blood pump in the morning. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the R, which is reading. Now, I'm not talking about reading a novel, I'm not talking about uh, you know reading chapters and chapters and chapters, I'm talking a page or two, a paragraph, uh, on something that's inspirational, something that is motivational. Just put something good in your mind before you start your day. Listen, if you get up and just jump on Facebook and see all the weird stuff going on in the world, or you you know, you turn the news on and it's depressing, I'm talking about just doing something to put something positive into your mindset, something that's gonna empower you and motivate you. So you wanna just do a little bit of reading, again, three to five minutes worth of reading, and then we're gonna get into our S, which is scribing, scribing. That's writing, in other words, a journal. Keep a journal. You wanna write down your thoughts, write down the things that are going on in your head, write down your wins, things that you can kind of even go back to to get inspiration you know, from. And so it savors it. I'm gonna sit in silence for a few moments. I'm gonna do my affirmations. I'm you know, excited that I've lost these final 10 pounds. You know, I'm happy that I won salesman of the year. I am the salesman of the year. I am the salesman of the year. I am the salesman of the year. You're reprogramming your subconscious mind. I am the salesman of the year. I am the salesman of the year. I've met the love of my life. I met the love of my life. I met the love of my life. Reprogram that stuff into your subconscious mind. And then of course, uh, we're gonna visualize that. What does that look like? What does it look like to walk across that stage and receive the award? What does it look like to have the love of my life picking me up on a date or, you know, taking my girl out to the restaurant? What does that look like? How does it make me feel? Put yourself in that situation. Put yourself in your day, again, just using cells as an example, you know, picture throughout that day, what are you, uh, you know, what does it feel, what does it look like closing that deal? See yourself closing that deal. Listen, back in the day when I was playing ball, you know, I played football and such, you know, I'd imagine myself grabbing that interception or scoring a touchdown or sacking a quarterback. You know, I would go through that on the bus ride to the game thinking about seeing myself do it because listen, your body's not gonna do what your brain hasn't already done first. So make sure you're visualizing. S-A-V-E exercise, get that blood pump. And again, something easy, run in place for a couple minutes. If you did each of these for only three minutes, you're talking about 18 minutes in the morning for a literal transformation. Then your R, you're going to do a little bit of reading. Again, we are not reading, you know, sci-fi fiction here. We're reading something motivational and empowering. And then, of course, your S. You're scribing, you're writing, you're keeping your journal. Now, over the years, I've taught this morning routine to literally thousands and thousands of people. Now, here's what I know. Not everyone's gonna do it. Not everyone's gonna take on this challenge. I, I understand that completely. But I do know this, that 
people that do take on the challenge and they do it for 30 days consistently, I've never once had someone say, you know what, I did it, nothing really good happened. Like, ah, I totally regret ever spending these 15, 20, 30 minutes in the morning. And I've had a lot of people that have started and quit. I've had a lot of people that just never did it all, said, man, that sounds great, and then they never get up 15 minutes early, okay? But if you will commit to this, now here's two different ways or two different times in the morning that I would do it. So, <clears throat> some people get up and they, you know, they're bright-eyed, bushy-tailed first thing in the morning, you're awake, ready to go. Then, you know what, get out of bed, don't lay in bed because you don't want to fall asleep, sit in a chair, go through these things, take 15 to 30 minutes, again, that's how long it takes, and go through your morning routine, then go get in the shower, get ready for your day. Or for those of you that wake up groggy, you wake up and you're like, ah, ah, ah. those of you, go jump in the shower, get awake, do whatever it takes for you to get awake. Now that doesn't mean go to work, it doesn't mean uh, you know go start your day, I'm saying whatever it takes for you to get awake, and then sit down in your special spot, your chair. And I'd have that special spot. I'd have a place that you're gonna designate to do this. Matter of fact, I'd have savers written down on a piece of paper, kind of as a reminder of you know your order to go through. Leave it right there, leave it on the coffee table where you're gonna sit, whatever. And so that way it's already there for you. And here's the challenge. Do this for 30 days. 15 to 30 minutes each morning for 30 days. And I'll tell you what, you'll begin to see tremendous transformation. You'll begin to see tremendous results. Of the thousands of people that I've taught this to, not once, as I mentioned, has someone come back and said, Steve, I completed the challenge and it had no effect on my life. The reality is after the 30 days, you've created a habit. You're gonna continue to do this from year to year to year to year. Okay, so here is kind of the final thing that I'll share with you is accept the 30 day challenge. And then at the end of the 30 days, come back to this video and in the comments, put in there, and this is what's happened. Or send me an email privately. I wanna hear your results. I even wanna help keep you accountable. If you need to come in and say some, Steve, today I did it. And then tomorrow, Steve, I did it again. Whatever I can do to help keep you accountable because I know it will create tremendous transformation in your life. And with that, guys, if you like the video, if you got value out of this, please hit the like button, it helps me a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment, share this with someone. Listen, a great idea would be to take you know two or three of your friends, maybe your coworkers, and say, you know what, let's do this challenge together. Let me share this video with you. Let's all start on the same day and we'll see what really happens. And so, you know what, guys, the morning routine is so very powerful. And with that, guys, much love, peace, bless you, namaste.